Amid the Delta threat, it's now the private sector calling for a two-week circuit breaker lockdown. Presidential Advisor for Entrepreneurship Joey Conception said, the sooner a lockdown is imposed, the less damage to the economy. They say next week would be the best time to do it, as August is known as Ghost Month, a time when business deals are avoided and the markets are quiet. In addition, heavy monsoon rains have kept people at home. What we don't want to see is that we lock down on the fourth quarter, which is the quarter that will save many for micro and small and medium enterprises, even large corporations. At the moment, the DOH is not calling it a surge just yet. Of the 119 Delta cases already confirmed, 25 were detected in NCR. But business leaders stress that this new lockdown shouldn't drag on. I hope it's not going to be a prolonged one because not only the MS, uh, small and medium or micro, even uh, I think big companies uh, may be financially trapped. If this gets extended, then uh, it may require the government to come out with uh, another sub. Conception says there should also be some concessions for those who are fully vaccinated. That those who have been vaccinated should be provided with some mobility. No? What, yeah. we are, what we, we are trying to protect here is the unvaccinated. Meanwhile, travelers coming from NCR Plus will be barred from entering Baguio once again, according to Tourism Secretary Berna Romulo Puyat. Right now, uh, Baguio is only allowing, up to the end of the month at least, only coming from MGCQ and GCQ. Pero kung GCQ with heightened restrictions and below, bawal na naman. Among the groups who have thrown their support for the hard lockdown next week are the PCCI, Exporters Confederation or ECOP, and the Filipino Chinese Chambers of Commerce. They warn that if we do the circuit breaker later in the year, it may require longer than two weeks by then. I'm Pamela Vasquez and we are One News.